we're in a bit of an economic downturn and everything. People are coming out of, people are still coming out of lockdown. Companies have been tightening up their belts in advertising um, and like reducing advertising. But I don't really think, you know, they're, they're going, they're going to be like low profit margin type companies that are going to get the, you know, that are going to get the boot. They're going to get the kibosh. Um, I, I don't, I don't think that's not going to happen. But I don't think like this, like you know, streaming is streaming's hecking falling apart. I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't really think that much. I've personally never taken the sponsorship. I still get a decent amount of sponsorship requests in my in my inbox personally. Um, but you know, I guess I don't know. I guess we'll see. He's been streaming longer than me, I guess. But at the same time, it seemed like he has a manager do his stuff, a lot of his stuff. So, so this is um XQC versus Pokemane, the battle of the millionaires. Let's see w which millionaire streamer is correct about their multi-billion-dollar streaming platform being better. What's the dog? Ah. Yo, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you perfectly uh, loud and clear. For starters, congrats on your deal. Oh, thank you, thank you. One yeah, I'm million a... dollars. That's right. Triple trillionaire. Yeah, it's a T. I'm getting, I'm getting a whole, uh, I'm getting like a sweater made. It's like a big T. It's, a, uh, it's like a bunch of, a bunch of, bunch of commas, uh, uh, trillionaire. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well deserved. I don't know if you remember, like a year or two ago. When I said I think like the only creator Twitch should not lose is you. Right, I remember that. Yes, and so I guess ultimately I'm still glad it's non-exclusive even though they kind of lost you, you're still kind of here. Anyways, I know you just saw my take as a lot of I don't know have, why, so but I, I don't watch clarify, that many streamers, like, so. I for sure did misspeak when I said like Twitch and Amazon um, when I use them synonymously, because yes, when Twitch profits, Amazon does, but not necessarily the other way around, right? When Twitch profits, say it again, say it again. When Twitch okay. profits, Amazon profits, but not necessarily the other way around, although there is a relationship there, you know, like Amazon can fund Twitch in ways if it chooses to. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, if shit were to go down and things are, and, and things are, are, are going wrong, they have a lot more escape routes with Amazon because they own the service or whatever. And if, yeah, of course, they have more leeway for sure. I mean, um, with they, the money Amazon makes, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean Twitch is making that money. So I get that. You know, I I should have instead said Amazon in my sentences instead of Twitch. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just because um, it's just because I think my opinion was that on super costs directly. Right. Amazon, Amazon being at the top. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I don't know what was the, the, like the actual point of the argument, right? Because I don't think Amazon would ever like drop kick out of like, out of baldness because it's a, it's a profitable venture for them. They're literally making, yeah. they're, they're literally in the, in the green, right? Um, with, with kick quite literally. And I mean, I, I listen, it's just not, I'm not going to, this is, this is not a secret. I'm not saying this out of spite, I, I, I trust me. Trust me, I will never say anything out of, out of spite to anybody because I think everybody's chilling out, right? I'm not. I don't think there's any like, oh, guys, these guys are bad and whatever. But okay. in, by the comparison, um, money when it comes down to uh, Twitch is um, it's, it, it's 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 a it's, it's, a, it's a money sink. All they really care about. Oh, Twitch, yeah, to Amazon, but I'm yeah. sure there are other ways that it's valuable. Obviously, none of us fully know the back end. I think what I was trying to say in that clip is just like. Yeah, typically with these media platforms, almost none of them make money. I mean, I'm pretty sure YouTube doesn't really make money either at the moment. Um, there are very few of these media platforms that actually make dough. Um, but there are more important things than, than just money. I mean, I don't think I really have to really explain it to anybody that Google owning the largest media sharing a uh, platform on earth right now after TikTok, uh like how that could be valuable to google <laughs> you know like that that is pretty valuable to google like let's let's just be honest with ourselves and alphabet um and, and i think like even other companies would would want youtube if they could have it um but yeah like money wise it, it's not it, it it does not really make that much money, but honestly, sometimes it is not always about the money. Uh, Spider Man, some it can be expen it can be uh worthwhile in other in other ways. 
that could possibly be more insidious. In a sense, Amazon and Twitch are on the same side and Kick is using an Amazon service. And so it's just my personal theory. Um, that, that say, uh, uh, listen, um, overall, you know what I really like about uh, people like Kick? Um, they, they don't give a fuck. Like, they, they don't give a fuck. Like, 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 they are rude in reality. <laughs> yeah, they, they so sound when, when like they don't like, give oh, a the fuck. Chat sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, we'll fix that. And they're always open for, for change or whatever, right? So whenever, if, you have, if you're holding your tongue mm -hmm. because you're scared of like hurting me or whatever, or you say, you, say, you, say, you say harsh words or whatever, I don't care. You say whatever you want. No, uh, frankly, that is true. He I has a million dollars. I think he'll be okay. Kick to say much. I was just saying, whether it's Twitch or Kick winning, Amazon is winning. That was my point entirely, and that you know, if push were coming, that part is true. Like, push Kick, shop, yeah. Kick, Kick yeah, does yeah. use Amazon service. I can imagine Amazon picking the company that they own over the one that they don't own. But that's and just technically they could. I don't just take know for sure. Kick off I don't know the back end if they really want how the shit works, how much data Amazon gathers from either streaming platform, how they value either one. Probably cetera, a lot. Right? I was just trying to say, either <laughs> way, Daddy Amazon is winning. Um, but I shouldn't have said Twitch, because... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah, a thing that, it. that people make. Yeah, yeah. Um, the convincement that I made um, with chat is something that I, that I, um, that I, I started understanding it, is that, unfortunately, like, you know, mm -hmm. fortunately, when you work with people that are growing and they're, they're sort of small, right? There's not a lot of overhead costs, not a lot, not a lot of employees, not a lot of buildings, not a lot of shit to keep on. Um, and basically, you're kind of starting from the bottom. That's when the um, upgrades are good because overhead costs are pretty small, right? So what um, I'm not sure if I would necessarily say over. When it comes to a streaming service, I'm not sure if I would say overhead costs are small, even like relatively small. I would imagine overhead costs get cheaper the bigger you get um honestly when it comes to this type of stuff it, like when it comes to profit versus uh profits versus uh expense sorry when, when it comes to like money in versus money out, i would imagine like these types of things get technically a little less expensive uh the more uh, the bigger you get but also that that's just like that's just what i think i could be wrong there uh, i could be wrong there but like the the starting the, uh, the upfront and starting cost for this type of stuff is massive if you've ever looked into it when 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 growth is coming in it's 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 really pog right so amazon like when buying out buying, buying twitch the problem that they're starting right now is that overhead costs are fucking insane so what's the money sink is it on paper the servers are about the same i get it if probably have like discounts or whatever for twitch right because it's its own company Right, it, it, they they own it. So of course, the um, the price that they're putting on the on the on the server is probably less. Correct, chat? It's like it's kind of how business works. I mean, maybe um, compared to the one that they delivered a the kick, they probably they probably, they probably have had a premium for themselves, right? So they could so get thought, in trouble for that. Um, though, yeah, they right? do have costs but exactly. That's, that's what I thought. But the problem is that it's a money sink because all the overhead costs, right? Because it's massive corporate, there's a lot of employees, there's so much shit. Wait a second. Can we take a look at this drawing that he's making? I want to take a look at it. Okay, let's just well, let's let's take a little peek, a little gander at this drawing that he's making. All right, let's see. Right, and it's why I was like, shit. I would tend to agree with you that if push comes to shove, um, they would keep Twitch. I thought, shit. Destiny's argument, which I kind of agree with, if push comes to shove, I think they just say, say fuck it. Um, we're just gonna do. We're just gonna go to. Yeah. Buy our servers, rent I our servers, and that too. we're not conditioned in it. People... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't necessarily know what he's getting at, but like he's he's saying that Kick has less overhead costs than Twitch does, which I would imagine because they have less servers because they have less people on their platform. But as Kick grows, their overhead costs will grow exponentially, just like Twitch's has. And if that's the case, I don't know why we would think that they wouldn't be in the same predicament as they are at the moment. So why? I, I, I mean, like, uh, unless he's thinking, like, get in now and then while while they're like feeding good off of like gambling money and then after that, like dip. Which I mean, OK, I guess that could definitely be something that you would want to do. Sure. But I, I don't I don't get the idea that like the, the overhead costs are is like a big thing here. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that take as well. That they might instead, I mean, I don't really know if there's a, I mean, they might just sell Twitch and be like, we'll just sell you guys the service to kick and Twitch 
and instead just profit that way without having to worry about the overall cost, infrastructure, overhead, etc. Et oh shit! I mean, is that what you, I mean, I mean, Twitch would you go bankrupt in the, in the fucking in twenty four hours? I don't know. I um, mean, maybe. Shit. Wait. If it was a publicly traded company, no, it wouldn't actually. But, um, <laughs> you know, no, it wouldn't. But I mean, I, I don't know why kick like where is kick making money? Right. Where Where is kick making? I, I want I want this. I want this explained to me because he has because he's now part of their business. What made him think that kick is making money where Twitch isn't? Where's that happening? Because they're giving less because like Twitch is doing. You know, you know, Twitch. Twitch has like employees and everything and like Twitch is more connected and has more advertisers and is more brand known and is connected to Amazon and gets discounts on their servers probably or gets just straight up free servers. Um, you know what I mean? Like where is kick making their money after getting at, <laughs> after giving 95% of the, the sub money to their their chat so their their streamers like where does that come from where how do they actually make money because at the moment it sounds like they don't and you just trust the fact that people will always have their life savings taken by gambling addiction and kick's parent company can rely on that more than amazon can rely on you using it uh like you know amazon to buy things if if that if that if that's what we're going down to, which I mean, if that's the case, then sure, you know, I guess, you know, understandable. <laughs> I I think I I think I think uh, gambling addiction will be around and profitable longer than you know Amazon and Amazon Prime. That's just me though, and other Amazon services probably. But at at the same time, I'm I'm not sure if that's necessarily like the W that you necessarily think that it is. Wait. Have you ever, okay, yeah, you, don't do, you don't do the cost of the servers at premium price, right? And you, you were to, to, to calculate the actual amount that uh, Twitch costs on server, it is exorbitant. My stream, my, running my stream on Twitch is a, an absolute money burner. The fact that this stream is, is true. live the and biggest Chad streams, is watching, here, the biggest streams are, are money losses. As we have a big Twitch. pot and we are no, burning yes, money at ridiculous rates right now. Maybe that's a price someone wants to pay i mean clearly amazon wanted to pay it people have been paying it in the past or they'll just make everybody run eight minutes of ads <laughs> i don't fucking know yeah but i do want to clarify something which is like oh, so it's kick with a c really... kick, kick with a okay. just a k obviously is a... you know i'm not a fan of the gambling stuff so for that it's reason it kind of leaves service. a bit of a sour taste in my mouth but i really really do hope that their participation in this industry will lead to just better opportunities for creators especially smaller streamers especially since we all know twitch has been making like really fucking annoying changes Mecca, yeah. shit, um so. hacking so, yeah so, 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 i'm i'm so, happy to see like individuals get that bag yeah that's really it all right so what oh but also deck order replies are still fucking ass yeah like, they're, they're, they're definitely, slightly yeah. miss work the reason XQC switched to Kick was because they offered him a hundred million dollars to switch. Well, it's not even really a switch. They just gave him a hundred million dollars, and we don't know the terms of the deal yet. But yeah, I know that. It's just fucking gross. Something I realized that I get it's not the same ratios, but mm -hmm. Gamba overall is like laced or is part of like everything. And we think about it, Amazon. It's I mean, don't like, they have like a deal what? with like DraftKings, like Gamba, laced everything? Gamba is Gamba, what? Gamba's everywhere. Gamba's laced with everything. Gamba's, uh, Gamba's everywhere. It's oh. it surrounds. It's dominates our world, right? I mean, Amazon. Amazon I mean, runs Twitch. Shit, Amazon I, does deal um, with DraftKings. No, don't they do that for like a a fucked uh, amount of money? Yeah, but like, how much money is that for I mean, Twitch actually? It's, they're not like they're not completely indebted in that part either, right? So when you when you start saying uh, um, start comparing, oh yeah, but this is this is a portion or, or has uh, a gambling money shit amazon funny twitch also does have gambling money uh, 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 linked to it so okay the but they're point, not I think you're, they're not doing it I themselves don't, I, I, really. I, I, I didn't want to become like um they're not a gambling like, company it's a varying the, degrees though right see that's why it's varying degrees yeah exactly mm -hmm. but it seemed like a lot of variants but are yeah. you gonna be black on the white about it or like uh, uh, or on the green i feel like it's kind of i don't know i think it's like an uphill uh, it's like an upstream argument to make but i don't know um Oh well, yeah, I, it's hard for me to say. This meme is very black real. Or white. I think everybody's. I mean, everything is gonna end up being a little bit gray, but. Yeah. Yeah. 
What do you? Okay, you know what? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm happier with being on, on Twitch um, than um, you know, we should, we should, especially we with the moderation podcast. Because I think these topics are very boring, right? But if you put in the podcast, you get more interesting because they're more condensed and they're more targeted, and people know know. Uh, oh no, your average well, podcast sounds long just long like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So then, hold up. Uh, so, and say you have a timeline, right? And you have COVID in the middle. Mm-hmm. I think streaming was like on its way up. And COVID yep. hit, and yep, that thing yep, was yep. like and massive now peaking, right? It's crashing, low key. I mean, it's like half what it used to be. Oh shit! Okay, so I'm, I'm glad you know about the stats, and because uh, because I I had to run all the stats because I, I started thinking like, okay, so what I thought about when I saw this, um, I thought, okay, when they were over here, and they're looking at, at I can at barely the understand it. <laughs> they probably went like they probably went massive on that. Yo, guys, go oh, crazy! Wait, no, he's expanding his graph. We have to look at this. He's expanding his graphs. Zoom in, enhance. Go crazy, go crazy, go crazy. Mm-hmm. And people were very crazy about the market. And now COVID's kind of going down. Things mm-hmm. went down like I think 30% or what they were initially from. 30, 40%. I right? would say 50, honestly. It's a, it's a pretty it. significant amount of where we are now, right? Yeah. So things you know got... what's really scary? Okay, you know how Toast has like an esports team and stuff? Right. Like streaming is one thing. I think esports is actually so close to dying. dying it. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah. Well, the I, sponsors are fucking pulling out. Here. They are pulling the They've fuck been out. Here for years and they're like, mmm, this looking like zero return. Yep, wait. It's really Well, when they say esports are falling apart, what they mean is like esports companies are falling apart, which I actually think is kind of cool. <laughs> I I kind of want I kind of think it would be cool if like there were just community organizations again where communities, you know, pull together some money and then rent out a gymnasium and then set up some computers again. Like they will set up like computers again or stuff again. And you can like bring some of your own stuff and not and it's not like big, massive trying to make them like football events, arenas. It's, it's like more down to earth, like your locals more than just like crazy wild stuff and like you can do some really interesting community stuff as long as you have like people who care about it and sponsors like those can be profitable like esports organizations like phase and the liquid and cloud nine and tsm and all, all those people like i don't think those guys are in it for the i don't think those guys are going to be able to be around for a long long time but the people doing it and the community events and organizations i think those can be around forever because all you do is like offer Papa John's, you know, a couple thousand eyes on their stuff and you read out like a Papa John's ad every now and again. And you could and you could like break even on on like some fun stuff that you and your friends do. And it's not like some um, backbreaking corporate, you know, wackiness shit going on. You could just have like, you know, fun things with communities and not have to worry about like trying to make it a business or something. You know what I mean? Like, sure, I know it sucks to you know, probably not have as many people be full time street fighter players. But, you know, I mean, it's probably better for them. And they and they could probably make up the money by having like a Patreon or a YouTube or something, which a lot of which a lot of streamers which a lot of pro players do already. So they mix together their their, you know, practicing for pro play and also being a content creator, which is their job anyways. It just seemed like a pretty smart idea and I've seen a lot of them do it and do it successfully as well. And the more and the and the better you do, the bigger your stream gets too. So And if you and if you don't go that crazy, you can just co- you can like coach and make videos about it. Um, and make videos about plays and stuff like that. You can say that you're a pro player and then people want to watch your videos and then you can make more money and then go to more events. But yeah, there, there probably won't be any like massive, we rented out a, you know, a a 30,000 person arena with like flashing lights and WWE entrances for every single player. You know, it's probably going to be more of, we rented out a gym and there's like, um, a big player and then and then there's like a bunch of foldable chairs and and a stage with um with with two monitors on it and one switch you know which i think is cool i think that's still cool and and like one live stream where they ask you to sub- to subscribe and then there's like a, a pot of money that isn't like you know anything super crazy you know it's like ten thousand like a ten thousand dollar you know thing that uh you you pay into by with the entry fee or you can uh, pay it with you know subscribing and stuff like that i think that's cool 
And also, I don't know. I don't think the streaming, the streaming like a uh, crash is as bad as a lot of people are saying that it is personally. Well, it's it's down really far from everybody literally be. I mean, like, sure. Like, I'm not sure if anybody expected that everybody, you know, being literally locked in their homes 24 um, seven to stop from giving your grandma a um, a basically incurable respiratory disease. Um was not going to negatively, you know, was not going to positively impact streaming. And then that getting lifted was not going to negatively impact streaming. Like I wasn't, you know, for, I mean, I don't know for me personally, like people will always be interested in politics. So like people will always want to know what insane stuff is going on in the realm of politics. So personally, I don't feel like my, my job's going anywhere. Uh, maybe, maybe if it's like, you know, other stuff, I don't really think that's going anywhere. Gaming, I think is growing as well. So I maybe just like watching, Twitch specifically may be an issue, but once again, there's YouTube, which is going sicko nutty. I didn't mean to click on that. There's YouTube as well that's going sicko nutty mode, which is super cool. So I don't know. YouTube's doing really well. YouTube's still growing. Yeah, it's like it's it's more of a return to normal. I wasn't I wasn't expecting this to be last forever. Actually, scary and sad. Yeah. Okay, I, you know what? not only esports. I mean, I mean, probably scary for the people who like whole, put their I, life savings in the. Uh, all your friends, uh, you know, all your buddies, maybe on, on Twitch overall, and maybe yeah. Chet, maybe Chet's noticed that. Chet, you know what I'm saying? Your streamers that you watch don't do that many sponsors anymore for games and whatnot, or for games for for, for products. People do um, some like like food sponsors here and there, right? But overall sponsors. Bro, we're talking like, I think it went down like about 80% of sponsors well, of that are down. Really? Uh, I think there was a big dip, you know, when everybody was like, recession, recession, economy, dying. I think it was. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> I don't know. We're in a bit of an economic downturn and everything. People are coming out of, people are still coming out of lockdown. Companies have been tightening up their belts in advertising um, and like reducing advertising, but I don't really think, you know, they're, they're going, they're going to be like low profit margin type companies that are going to get the, you know, that are going to get the boot. They're going to get the kibosh. Um, I, I don't, I don't think that's not going to happen, but I don't think like this, like, you know, stream is streaming's hacking falling apart. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really think that much. I've personally never taken the sponsorship. I still get a decent amount of sponsorship requests in my in my inbox personally. Um But you know, I guess I don't know, I guess we'll see. He's been streaming longer than me, I guess, but at the same time, it seemed like he has a manager to do his stuff, a lot of his stuff. So it's like, it dried up for a little while, but it's coming back a little bit, I think. Sponsors? From yeah, what I've I, seen. I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of ads. Sponsoring recently. streamers at least. Yeah, there's a recession, but yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, Chad, there's a recession, but also at the same time. And also, like, I mean, a lot of streamers have been wanting to move away from, like, ad spots. I don't know what are the causes of a recession, but, but, but I definitely know. In place that, like, of things like, you know, to, like, it boosts my up site stuff for, because and of Patreon. Whatnot, they probably had, like, to, like, juice it up. And at one point, that has to come down somehow, right? Because, mm -hmm. right, Chad, isn't that kind of how that, how that works? Mm -hmm. COVID's kicking in. Market and then, investment. Yeah, they have to juice up, and at one point, they'll flatten out, and what that causes is that the difference in between is that there's going to be a little bit of recession, right? Okay. That, that, it's going to have, okay. We're you know what I'm really curious my, my about? Boy, do be speaking. I wonder if you know anything about this. Has any, like, large streamer in the past leaving Twitch impacted Twitch's numbers much? Um. Yeah, has that ever happened? I um discussing market strategy and being knowledgeable about this is um it's not like industry secrets right but companies that have done in the past have done it in a very stupid way and um what is this pr the talk i'm doing with eddie in the, in the coming months i think um listen i'm not explaining i think it's gonna make you jump off your seat to be honest because i it's you think it's gonna make me Bro, what what is what is this PR talk? The answer is no. Then yeah, the way the way <laughs> okay yeah, like he's like, well, uh, uh, has like these people leaving Twitch ever actually like cost Twitch real money before ever? And he's like, well, you know, I think a lot of companies in the past did a really bad job at it. Okay, yeah. So the answer is no, it didn't. Like, this is not necessarily industry secrets. I mean, like it, all you would know need is like Twitch's you know public uh you know public numbers that they post quarterly but i think they post quarterly but 
you know, all right. That that sounds like a no, if I'm going to be honest with you. Did literally nothing happen when Ninja left? Well, here's the thing. Like, they would leave and go to Mixer when Ninja was online, but then, like, go back to Twitch when Ninja was not online for the people who actually watch Ninja. So outside of that, yeah, no, kind of nothing happened as far as I know. Can we jump out of my seat? Yeah. Okay, I'm jumping. Because if you want to do it right, because I know how to do it right, if you want to do it right, it you know will happen. Right. I think, okay, you know how Ninja was like, I'm going to stream everywhere. I'm innovating or whatever. I actually think you doing a non-exclusive contract is being a pioneer in a really, really large way in this space, especially as the the money's kind of drying up. Yeah, so, I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna be with you. I, I mean, I was super scared. Um, Chat ch 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 thinks that like, I think that people think like, oh, because Twitch made all these bad decisions, right? That all, all what I did was like, oh, Twitch is being weird. I'm leaving it. I've been thinking about this for months. Like, I, I mean, I mean, remember I, I sent you a DM in the middle of the night? And I said, like, yo. Yeah, yeah um, I remember we talked about it, like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. a month and a half ago. I don't know. Yeah, so so I, as I was, uh, um, I had to, like, kind of kind of really give it a try in my head and really get there mm -hmm. mentally because I was never going to swap if I wasn't, like, fully there mentally. It's, an, it's all in pretty much, right? Like, it's, I, I have to be... I don't like doing half ideas. Yeah, I, I have to be in or not, right? And that's the, why we never made a podcast. I understand. Yeah, and the way that I got there, right, is by in taking it. Why did other platforms didn't work out? Why did Mixer didn't, didn't do any good? Why is YouTube doing really bad? And the way that they're doing their signings and the way they're doing things, the way that, that they're not changing the market, bad? are for key way? reasons. There's a couple of reasons that I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say because I don't want people to, you know. Um, I don't, I, I don't want the boomers over there, the fucking Bill and Andy's, to fucking ignore my shit, okay? I get it. Mm -hmm. I'm not that smart. People say, oh, you know that's smart? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, okay? We. People say, oh, you know that's smart? And he and I get he that. does have equity. My bro is saying we like, now? Really, really strong ideas and whatever. And when that fails... Is Eddie like say, the owner? Yeah. Mm. Um, <gasps> can I ask you something? And you can totally not answer, but I'm so curious. Yeah. Um, did they what give you any like? equity? Um... Can I talk about that? Yes. Uh, the answer is that. yes. That's a yes if he said, can I talk about that? Basically, but you don't have to. <laughs> I got to... Okay, listen. I, you were talking about... I was looking at... I got these. to choose. I was looking at this, that, uh, and that. No, no. I got, I got to choose whether I wanted um, some or not. Right? Oh, probably if like some of your pay but, was in equity but, or... Which is whatever. Cash, but the, or gamble the, money. The real, yeah, but the reality is, is that... I actually believe in the product. Like I generally do. Okay. So, yeah. so yes. So the way. So the way he's making it sound. Yes. He 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 has gotten. He's saying we. He's like I believe in the product. I can't talk about it if I got equity. Yes, they offered him equity. So I think they're. I I think they're paying him. Like giving him one of those like little uh, IOU type things, or uh, maybe maybe it's a version of profit sharing, but typically. Um, equity and profit sharing are seen as two different things. That that that's that's what I think is going on, and I I don't think they just handed him um a um, hundred million dollars. That that sounds more that makes more sense to me for why they would be open to the uh, that that makes more sense to me why they would be open with a non exclusive deal and also um, giving him you know uh, a deal with a sticker price like that. That makes more sense than anything else. If I'm gonna be honest with you. I also think you really believe in the idea of non-exclusive streaming. Yeah, for sure. And then, so what I thought, what I thought is that equity, right, means that if I go super hard, right, I get, I get a part of what I do. And I really believe that I've been criticizing YouTube, Twitch, um, uh, Rumble. I've been criticizing everybody in the past, Rumble. like what, like five years? I've been trying, I've been shitting on everybody for what they do with their mm -hmm. signings and what and, and their contracts, and. Mm -hmm. The only proof that I have that I was right con is that it actually succeeds and it does better than people expect it to be to, to do, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And if I don't get there, well, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a loser idiot. But if I do get there, right, and I have equity, I mean, shit. But what is Kick I mean, doing different? That that's that. I think that's very telling. What, what, what's what's that, the different thing that they're doing here besides knowing, like right being backed I, by I, 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 I get gambling. An incentive for being right with my with, with what I know and I think, that, I think that's I think that's massive and that's very interesting and I thought um 
at the same time like what's the point of going yeah, here besides I, some I, quick I'm cash not it, but i like the idea of like doing other things that are fun and whatnot and i kind of saw this as like a a, a business or whatever like like, like doing like chess moves or whatever. And that's interesting on its own, right? I thought it would be very really cool to have all these strategies on, on what we could do to make it better. And holy shit, it's fun. I think it's fun, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, what's yeah, the innovation? Like, I'm excited to see what comes of it. I think, I just think it'll make all large streamers think differently about their future signings, which is really good. Yeah, what somebody somebody asked asked her about the mm -hmm. small streamers making on Twitch take it. What was that? Maybe that was when I said, um, in my opinion, what makes a platform a streaming platform viable is when you see small streamers grow really, really large. Oh yeah. I wait, wait, right. I said that yesterday. I, I, I think that's what they're referring to, but I'm not sure. Wait, I I said that Chad, didn't I say that, is that yesterday? I said that, that discoverability these days is um so difficult that it's nearly mm -hmm. impossible to make it um purely on one platform um, i don't know in, in like yeah it's, like it's hard to make it on one platform personally i've actually i I've actually been liking twitch's discoverability more my homepage is full of a bunch of like 30 30 50 streamer andies and actually it's pretty cool i i found a, i found a bunch of new little streamers every now and again it's been soaking up more of my search data and then pumping me more streamers who like that type of stuff. And honestly, it's, it's been pretty nice. I think Twitch's discoverability has definitely been getting better. I've noticed that I've had more uh, followers and stuff recently in, in, in the last like year than usual um, and, and, and more new people in. So I don't know, just for me personally, I, I, think it's been, I think it's been pretty all right. And I don't know how Kick's necessarily better like what, what what does kick do that's better like i know you need multiple streaming platforms and that's why i'm pretty happy that i didn't that like opposed to my contemporaries uh some of my contemporaries for which i will not name because it, i don't want to start any fights and it doesn't seem very useful uh, i i focused on my youtube a lot more than a lot of them did um and i i feel like that's paid off a lot because no matter what happens to a lot of these streaming platforms i'm like 99 percent sure youtube's going to be around for a long time and if they don't, I have a really large platform there uh, for people who can see my content at any point in time of the day, wherever they are, whenever they are, and be able to see stuff that I've done and be able to get to, you know, what, what, whatever I put down within like a 24, within 24 hours, you know what I mean? Yeah, the larger Kick gets, the more it's going. Because like Kick as it is right now, like if they want to be profitable and have like other companies do stuff, like they're going to be changing. <laughs> they're they're going to be changing a lot this like what aiden ross and other people are going to be doing on there is not going to be is not going to be something that sticks organically it's awful um so what was your thing about that Ch uh, because what was your take that, that you want me to approach and talk to her about uh yeah. that was my whole take i said i will be impressed when i see that happen so if you can make that happen on kick i think that'd be really cool um okay I'm going to be honest with you. I know Trent said a lot of things, okay, and I don't know much about what what uh, um, what Trent implied because I'm new. I'm new over there. I'm the, I'm the new guy on the block over there, right? And I thought um, his ideas for discoverability and shit like that are, in my opinion, things that will happen later on. Why? Because the core product and chat right now is scuffed, right? And I don't care. To, 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 to people have people have the right to have their opinions, and they're right. The chat the chat is scuffed, and core features are scuffed. The stream went down. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's back on. Um, what was I saying? Um, is it okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is internet. internet this is, this is, um, yeah, so what was I thing about? I was, I was talking about something. Um, what was I thinking about? I think you were talking about. And it went down again. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what is happening? Yes. Okay. So what I was saying is that the core product right now, right? Okay. Core There's product. A lot of problems though. with it, right? Okay. Right. And like a problem. Mm -hmm. Like the chat, no, whatever. I actually don't know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so now there's there's a bunch of core product. All um, I know is it crashed when you went on yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Core product. So just, you like, mean just like just like chat stuff. Um, Chatting I, I, I and streaming. Having criticism. I don't mind saying like, yo, it's scuffed. It's bugging out. Yeah. So so the kick product has small kinks that are some are big 
um, that, are, that are working on it, but feedback has been really good, which is, super, which is fantastic. Yeah. But at the same time, I think what people need to understand is that um, when Trin has a bunch of ideas for like discoverability and whatnot, right? Like what? And I have to be honest with you. Um, this meme is very real. I think fixing the core product is a main issue. It needs to be reprioritized. Re re and then, and do all the because there's a, he has, he has actually good, good ideas for discoverability, like clips, like shorts, like, uh, I, there's a bunch of stuff you could do. Oh no, they're what? gonna TikTok kick. No. Like I feel there's so many you got you gotta you gotta we gotta stop the TikTok and we we gotta stop the TikTok TikTokification of websites. Every website wants to be TikTok now. Every single remember when every website was added even like was a random website started adding stories, you know? Every website wanted to add stories. Every website now has shorts. It's sick. I never used my stories on YouTube once, and guess, and I think stories are gone now. I they they removed stories, so those are gone. Shorts are still around, but the the shorts are the goddamn wild west out there. I refuse to use TikTok. Well, I mean, people are. I mean, it, it, we're we are in the Genshin Impact. Um, we're, we're, we're in like the wake of the, uh, right now we are at the moment in like media platforms that the games industry was in after Genshin impact dropped. You know what I mean? Like every single game wanted to be like, wanted to catch the lightning like Genshin impact did and become a multi-billion dollar mobile game. <laughs> Everyone wants to, everybody wants to have money. So we're, we're going to be seeing this as well here. Oh no, man. Uh, here we go. Well, we'll see how that works off with kick. Um, like, uh, you know, like, um, discoverable, like, clips and shorts and things that are, like, that make people, what like... Put, like, TikTok and kick or something? Um, so it's, it's a little bit complicated. There's, there, there's a couple things that you could do off of discoverability that I've had to do. So in, in the, chat knows. Chat knows about the things that I've known in the past. Uh, that's in the past for discoverability. Like, really, really good like ideas. What? And... If you put those in, then I think it can open up possibilities for um, discoverability that are good. But even can I, then... Can I tell you my honest opinion real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, for example, YouTube has amazing shorts, videos, VOD, live stream. They have everything, right? Yeah. But still within yeah, their live, live stream. streaming, they don't have good discoverability. Not just because they're not bringing traffic to their live streams. It's but I hard think and it's bad. Something that... Twitch has in comparison is a bit more of an ecosystem. And I think it's good that in a way, Kick via like its social has a community, yeah. And honestly, like trying to make good decisions when Twitch makes bad ones is starting to create a community. But I feel like that's how you blow up small streamers into larger ones. Yeah. Like the way that LSF is tied in with the Twitch community, the way that people gain traction, the way that there are streamer houses and basically they're all on Twitch more or less. Are, like are streamer houses still around? Are those still real? Yeah, Every yeah, time yeah, I hear yeah, something I mean, about yeah, a streamer you house, it's some, points. I mean, some horrible, all, immoral um, action happened. Um, chat, guys, guys, don't be, don't be rude. She's right about that. Um, yeah, basically, I, I mean, is it YouTube? The problem with YouTube is that like our voice. Because I, I mean, if you guys want me to yell, I could try yelling. See, I'm not an I OC. I yeah. just like. Oh. Um, yeah, we're like, that, that's a killer streamer. Um, okay, uh, if you're just friends all the time, but listen, there's, you know, there's like a bunch of categories, okay, right? Oh, no, no, make it stop, please make her stop. I don't know. Uh, manage on la France, you uh, can comprend pas. No! Yeah, speed up. Okay, you see that? Speed it up, I'll speed it up. See all the categories? See chat, you know, I know what my, what my thought was like? Is that on, uh, uh, there's a bunch of categories, right? Like a bunch of bunch of things to, to watch and whatnot. The thing with thing with Twitch is that over the years it has really solidified itself as like a, for one category is like a one big shimmer, one big, one medium, one medium. And when you're not watching one guy, the transfer to the other guy is really easy. And the other guy is really easy. And it feels somewhat the same, no different in style, because the community is so like fully like uh, fully fledged out, right? And like I said, the ecosystem is there for people to have stuff to watch regardless. It's why stars get replaced, baby bowl, baby bowl get replaced. So why things can I go naturally like that. When on YouTube, there's none of that. Why? Because on YouTube, live streams, 
one guy's life there. The other guy has <laughs> one, zero, minus 20 viewers. Okay, other category. Nobody streams it. Other category. One guy has other, three million viewers. I, look, other guy has zero. Categories on YouTube? I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it's, actually, just, it's garbage. So. It's just so bad. It's really bad and they really need to fix it. That part is true. That's one of the big reasons why I don't stream on YouTube. But at the same time, if you are subscribed to somebody, uh, their, their live stream will come up at the top of your feed um, above all videos and stuff like that. Um, it, so, so their live stream will, will always be at the top, right? But that's just for the people who are subscribed to you. But that's not discoverability. That's discoverability for your your subscribers to your live stream, but for you to get subscribers, no, it usually isn't there. And now they will rank um, YouTube. They'll rank streams in there, but 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 in the fact, but but in the idea, just like oh yeah, yeah, normal person's just gonna be able to find your stream a lot of the time. Probably not. Probably not. Which does suck because I think I think. If if Twitch is actually able to sorry if YouTube is actually able to get that down then both Kick and Twitch will die quickly. And that I think YouTube views live streaming as a tool, not as a whole fucking thing. I don't think they view. Like, I don't think they do it. I don't think they. I don't like think they, they view it as a they do tool care. for an individual creator, but really YouTube's just so big. It, like things move very slowly. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. They don't care about like making a live streaming community. Yeah, um, they, no, they don't know what they're doing over there. And basically, when you watch a stream on YouTube and you want to swap out, swap out, right? One of the problems, you know, this gives me, this is free advice. Okay? I said in the past, I said in the past. All right, XUC is free don't advice swap to YouTube. From one stream to the other, to the other. You know what happens, right? People swap from one stream to a fucking video. Why? Because on the side of the screen, instead of having other streams, there's better video content to watch then then the streams are watching jointly or other streamers so people go from watching a guy they like guy, the guy says like guys i gotta go to the bathroom they will click every time on the on the thumbnail on the side of the screen and they will never go back right and um, youtube is a kill himself that way that's what they want but doesn't it doesn't well, they're not killing themselves that way. You, they're still getting a view. the The thing is that it's not it's not good for it's not good for str for streaming. It's good for YouTube. It's not that great for streaming. That's something different. Um, it 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 it, it harms the streaming ecosystem. But at the same time, like, what what are you gonna do? Because it's a catch twenty two. Because if you just take away the street, uh, if you take away what they're doing there with that, then everybody's going to be like, well. Um, uh, I, I can't, I have to go to like a separate app to find YouTube live streaming. I have to go to like a, like they're basically an entirely different things. They have to separate it like YouTube music, which I don't think is necessarily like a bad thing really, but discoverability is going to go down. You know, it do, it do go down. That's going to happen. You know that, or they're going to do what they do now where they just mix in live streaming with video. And then they're going to be like, well, now people click off my live stream because they want to watch a YouTube video where, yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Doesn't make any sense. So if that's if that's what they that, if that's the one, there's other ways other ways to do it. They already own all the muscle for when it comes down to a fucking um, a video content, a video format, right? So they don't they don't not only they, 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 they don't care about their live thing, they're actively killing it. Like they are quite literally killing their own streams by having the thumbnails on the side be better content. They, isn't that so odd? That's just odd. So why? Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. So there's there's no economy. There's no there's no uh, uh, ecosystem. Right, what does Kick do? Discoverability. Discoverability is is negative. You, you you have you have more than being discovered on YouTube by making a, a decent 10 second clip than making three 24 hour streams. Okay, uh, you know the other content. Maybe, the but getting people to actually so watch your video again. So it's why YouTube has never been a competitor and never never will be in that sense. People we'll say. But um, they own okay. that much of the market. <laughs> I get it. I'm not sure about some it. She's big laughing. companies stream their mobile gaming tournament, and some streamers, uh, some YouTubers, over they get bored and they go live, and that gives them a certain a certain portion of the market. That is not. Li these aren't live streams. That they, these that, that that doesn't compete with anybody. That that is that, that's a non-factor. That's why that's that's why I thought about it uh, anyway. Sure, but videos are probably more profitable Thoughts? than streams are. I agree with a lot of what you said. I just, I feel like you focused a lot on its cons. I think 
it does have a few pros, which is Say that it. the gaming community, like VOD on YouTube is fucking insane. And if you're a large creator and you can tap into that through live streaming, like you're probably going to have a good time with Yeah, VODs go crazy. Okay. The community the VODs go that they crazy have on is YouTube. pretty chill. People yeah. love But VODs. in terms of live streaming, they have yet to do anything revolutionary. Yeah, I mean, you, you okay, what you just said, I want you to go back to what you just said and let me think about mm -hmm. it then. You said kind of that you can't hold your own th audiences for 30 then. seconds in the bathroom. YouTube is a VOD company. Mm -hmm. I mean, inherently, a VOD is a video. YouTube well, is video a video demand. service company. That's, okay. what, that's what they do. That is right? true. That's, that's their bread and butter. They, they do make videos. That. A VOD is a video. That is true. Right? Well, we make so, videos. I mean, a, 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 a VOD is a video. Their VOD right? will be good. Okay. But the whole point of live content is that the, the, the live content is good. That's the only focus. So the live content is good, right? So who cares about the VOD part of it if they, they already do videos that are good, right? It's, My it, point is more so looking at the greater whole of the gaming industry, right? Live streaming is like so embedded with gaming. That's why, you know, when you're a Twitch streamer, one of the best ways to grow is by putting out YouTube videos. Yep. Um, like if you put out TikTok videos, yeah, you can grow a little, but the number one highest like return on your investment from what I've seen is making YouTube videos because YouTube gaming is massive. It goes crazy. Yeah. Um, so if you're a large creator on you Twitch should have anywhere, a, if you want to become a content creator, game, if you want to do streaming or do you, you do something else, YouTube, start with YouTube because they have so many and then branch out from YouTube viewers. You can still garner quite a bit of viewership. My point is just that they have high gaming traffic. Oh, so yeah. For example, like Among Us Days, bro, if Toast was on YouTube, he would have had uh, 200k viewers or some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 100%. But, but Twitch, Twitch doesn't have that same kind of external traffic. So no. if YouTube could direct it more towards live streaming, like they would really actually have something there. Yeah. Um, see, I, I agree with you. I think, I think what you're talking about is just um, what I, in the past, I've said uh, is, is just called, uh, like, it's just, I call it pure muscle. It's just muscle, right? Because YouTube, okay. the, the, amount people, the amount of people that watch YouTube, the amount of people that, that go around looking for YouTubes to watch and, and click on stuff on YouTube is exorbitant compared to any live shit. Yeah. Any live, it's the actually amount, fucking insane. The amount of raw muscle they have compared to any other force, it, it eclipses everybody times 10 combined, right? Mm -hmm. Which is incredible, right? And it's honestly, I'm gonna say how it is. This will this will sound out of touch. He's gonna say it. 200k viewers would actually be pretty disappointing um, to have if you compare the amount of people that they have, and and then then the stream, because these numbers could be crazy. If they had the ecosystem that was that was built to sustain an environment for live streams, 200k would be nothing for them. It would well, be like, I oh, mean, you that's would why I would probably be better on YouTube doing on, on that than kick. But just because they don't retain any live viewer economy, then these live streams are like events. All of them are like events. You don't want your streams to be an event. You want it to be a daily commute thing, right? Well, and you, now could, they have well, you no would condition your audience to, to be that. that type. To be okay uh, with that. Built in. Built in. <laughs> right? Is that? <laughs> it's built in. Yes, yeah, built in. Built in. <laughs> Bill Clinton? You, know, you, you, you just don't know about built-in? She's laughing. <laughs> yeah. This he's, 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 you're laughing? Like, he's talking about his $100 yeah, chat, million chat, dollar, uh, He's best used with built-in. Deal and Brilliant you're laughing? Tin. <laughs> Billy Tin. All right. M Wild stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I think, that, I think we're good watching that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I personally... I just... If I was going to bet on anything, I would bet... I, like if, if I was going to put my time towards a different website at the moment, it would not be kick. It would be YouTube. I would be putting my, my time and effort towards YouTube instead. But you know, I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out what happens at the end of the day. Where can I get a hundred thousand dollars? Well, it was, it's a hundred million dollars, but yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy.
you won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, boo.